Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 39 from chapter 4 of Hate's book. The question is employing mass analysis procedure. Obtain a value for the current labeled I. So the I is here in the circuit represented by this figure. Okay. Now let's draw the loops. So the first loop is here. Maybe I will draw it like this to make sure that all the components can be seen. Okay, let's name this as loop number one. And then this loop here is loop number two. And this loop here is loop number three. So now let's do KVL at loop one. So let's do KVL at loop one. KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And now this current here is flowing from negative to positive of voltage source. So the sign will be negative. I will have minus sign here and the value will be two and then plus. This component here, that will be 3 ohm, but we need a voltage, so we multiply it by I1, and then plus 4 here. Again, we need to multiply it by I1, but here I2 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I will have minus I2. And this one, 1 ohm, so I will have plus 1, and I need to multiply it by I1 here. But here, I3 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have minus I3. All of that will equal to zero. Now, let's do some summation here. 3 plus 4 will be 7. 7 plus 1 will be 8. So I will have 8I1 and then minus 4I2. And then minus I3. And minus 2 here, we will move it to the right hand side. So I'll have 2 here. Let's set this as equation number 1. And now let's move on to KVL at loop 2. Now let's do KVL at loop 2. Again, the sum of the voltage will equal to 0. And here we will have 4. We need to multiply it by the current. Also, now we need to multiply it by I2. But here, I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So, minus I1. And then, plus 1 ohm here. So, I will have 1 multiplied by I2, right? So, I will have I2. And that will equal to 0. So, now I will have minus 4 I1. And then, plus 4 plus 1 will be 5. 5 I2. All of that will equal to 0. And let's save it as equation number 2. And now let's do KVL at loop 3. KVL at loop 3. And KVL said the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. So now what can we do? Let's start with this 1 ohm resistor so i have one but we need to multiply it by i3 but here i1 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus i1 okay and then plus this component here for ohm the only current that pass through it is i3 so the voltage will be for i3 and all of that will equal to zero and for this one i will have minus i1 plus 5i3 will equal to 0. Let's have this as equation number 3. Put it into a matrix and calculate it using calculator. Okay, now let's do that. I will have 8, four, eight minus 4 and minus 1. And then minus 4. 5 and 0. And then minus 1. And then 0 and 5. So I will have I1, I2, and I3. I1. 
two and i3 and then on the right hand side i will have two zero and zero two zero and zero let's close it and then let's do calculator solving here okay set up and let's do equation solver which is number five three variables number two so i will have eight and then minus four and then minus one and then two and i will have minus four and then five zero and then zero and then i will have minus one zero and five and finally Okay, I got the I1 will be this number here. So I will have I1 is 435 milliampere. Okay, I1 will be 435 and the unit will be milliampere. Let's see I2 and I3. What is I2 and what is I3? I2 is the Y value in calculator. So that means I will have 348 milliampere. Okay, three, four, eight milliampere, and I three. What is I three? I three is eighty seven milliampere. Eighty seven. But we are looking for I here. What is I? I is the current that has the same direction with i is i3 so i'll have i3 here but i2 here flowing to the opposite direction so i3 i3 minus i2 so i will have 348 minus 87 and so i will have the final result will be 348 minus 87 348 minus 87 okay i will have 261 261 and the unit here will be milliampere and this is the final answer of this problem hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation thank you for watching and bye bye